The last scene of a horror movie holds tremendous power with a spectacular conclusion able to redeem a so-so feature or able to cement a good film as an all-time great film. The following entries represent the gold standard for a closing scene within horror, an unforgettable climax that hits all of the right notes for what is needed. With that in mind then, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror and here are 10 horror movies where the last scene is the best. Number 10, Zombie 2. While the legendary Lucio Fulci Zombie 2 may be remembered for its infamous shark vs zombie fight, the film's very best scene is its closing sequence. Even more so when you realise that the poor shark used for that fight was pumped with a whole bunch of tranquilizers in a scene which Fulci himself refused to shoot. In terms of loose plot though, Zombie 2 largely takes place on a Caribbean island where the dead have started to reanimate. When the undead become too unstoppable, the finale of this feature finds British journalist Peter, an American, and Bowles on a boat that's heading to the sanctuary of New York City. In an utter gut punch though, just as New York comes into sight, our two survivors pick up a panicked radio broadcast informing them that the Big Apple is itself in the midst of a zombie outbreak. What makes this particularly fantastic is a shot above the Brooklyn Bridge showing zombies walking above the traffic and also that's a shot which incidentally was filmed without permission from the city. Number 9 Saw Saw's conclusion features one of horror's most famous and celebrated twists, with the now immortal reveal that John Kramer had been one step ahead of his prey all along. Of course, Saw follows the unenviable plight of Adam and Lawrence, two strangers who awaken to find themselves chained to a pipe, with the only method to escape being the delightful option of sawing their own limbs off. A tape discovered on the body of a supposed suicide victim makes the pair aware that they've been abducted by the jigsaw killer, who seeks to test their will to survive. The nail-biting final scene sees the purported suicide victim rise from the dead, unmasked as none other than Jigsaw himself. It's one of the most deviously nasty twists in cinema history, and for poor Adam, he has enough time to scream in abject despair before being sealed inside the room to die in the pitch blackness. Game over, indeed. Number 8, 31. 31 is likely Rob Zombie's most Rob Zombie movie ever, which is certainly saying something. In this film, it focuses on a game, the titular 31, and here we have a group of carnival workers kidnapped and placed in a maze where it's kill or be killed against murderous figures known as heads. Each head, such as sick head, death head, and sex head, patrol one of the rooms in this maze and only upon defeating each role can our heroes make it to the next stage. Should they be all of these sinister thoughts or survive 12 hours of this torment, a would-be victim is allowed to walk free. The final stage of 31 is patrolled by an utterly chilling Richard Brake as Doomhead, the most maniacal of the bunch. And in the film, it's Sherry Moon Zombies Charlie as the one carnival worker who manages to just about fend off Doomhead in order for 12 hours to expire and for her to walk free. It's the final shot of 31 though that the movie's real money shot is, as Doomhead pulls up on the side of the road near the exhausted Charlie and the two prepare for one more showdown just as the credits hit. Number 7, The Wicker Man. The greatest folk horror film of all time, The Wicker Man follows the visit of Sergeant Ian Howie to a secluded Scottish island in search of a missing girl, Rowan. And for Howie, he's soon confronted by the reality that the islanders have embraced paganism. Concluding that the locals intend to sacrifice Rowan to prevent the crops from failing, Howie's search does eventually yield results, but it's revealed he's been fooled from the very get-go. In truth, Howie has been the islanders intended sacrifice all along. Despite his desperate pleas, the eerie final sequence of The Wicker Man sees Edward Woodward's lawman forced into the film's Wicker Man structure, a gigantic wooden effigy, and he's then set ablaze as a sacrifice to ensure a bountiful harvest. The sound of Howie's desperate praying set against the macabre backdrop of the islanders merrily singing, as a human burns to death in front of them no less, it makes for one of horror's most unsettling and unforgettable finales. Number 6. Rosemary's Baby Rosemary's Baby follows Rosemary and Guy, a newly married couple who move into a New York apartment building. Rosemary soon becomes pregnant only to become plagued by fears that her mysterious neighbours, the Castavets, intend to use her baby for ritualistic purposes. The film's ending brings Rosemary's worst nightmares to life. After being sedated, Mia Farrow's Rosemary is informed by Guy that she gave birth to a stillborn baby. However, 
A baby's cries soon alert Rosemary as she discovers a secret passageway that leads directly to the Castavet's apartment. There, Rosemary is confronted with the revelation that her neighbours, with Guy amongst their ranks, legitimately are satanic worshippers. And the cult, they've used her baby as a vessel to create the Antichrist, a child which she tentatively rocks despite her initially horrified reaction. Using the mother's unconditional love as a twisted vehicle for an endlessly evocative finale, Rosemary's baby definitely saves the best for last. Number 5. Halloween 2 With Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2, we have an all-timer of a final scene featuring Laurie Strode, Sam Loomis and, of course, Michael Myers. Picking the action up directly after the events of the first Halloween movie, this hugely underrated 1981 sequel sees Michael hunt Laurie down to the local hospital, or while the ever-erratic Dr. Loomis lurks in tow. A fiery finale takes place here, with Loomis stabbed, Michael shot in the eyes, and a gas explosion seemingly killing the doctor and his patient. The audience then sees Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie being attended to outside the hospital after this whole traumatic ordeal, and Halloween 2 ends with a stunning final shot of Michael's masked corpse burning. All as the Cordettes, Mr. Sandman, plays and the end credits begin to roll. Absolute perfection in so, so many ways. Even if both Michael and Loomis would be miraculously resurrected for Halloween 4 seven years later. Number 4. Night of the Living Dead George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead is a seminal piece of filmmaking. Notwithstanding what a spectacular piece of cinema the movie is, Night of the Living Dead's final scene provides the bedrock for endless social discussion and commentary. After a valiant and desperately bloody battle for survival, Dwayne Jones' Ben meets the most undeserving of ends. Seemingly having overcome the odds and survived the undead attacks on him and the films of our protagonists, Jones' lead character is tragically shot and killed by an arriving posse who mistake him for a member of the undead, in a chilling, truly heartbreaking moment. It was soul destroying, it was laced in social commentary, and it served as an exemplary finish to the legendary Romero's PS de Resistance. Number 3. The Thing John Carpenter's The Thing tells the tale of the eponymous entity's encounters with the crew of an Antarctic research facility. The Thing itself is a predatory extraterrestrial being, one that feeds by assimilating its prey before replicating their exact physical appearance. Needless to say, the concept of trust soon becomes a laughable afterthought as fear and paranoia run wild, brother. Carpenter ultimately draws the curtains on proceedings in sublime fashion here. Following an explosive showdown that destroys the research station, the two remaining survivors, that being McCready and Childs, encounter each other amongst the burning wreckage. The stark reality of their unenviable position soon sinks in, and there is no way to know whether the other man is the creature. Comprehending the futility of their situation, the two men begrudgingly share a bottle of whiskey. As maddeningly ambiguous as it may be, the thing's closing scene is the crowning jewel of a sci-fi horror classic. Number 2. The Sixth Sense M. Night Shyamalan's 1999 offering sees Bruce Willis step into the shoes of children's psychologist Malcolm Crow. Crow's young patient, Cole, claims he can see and talk to dead people. The Sixth Sense's finale holds such a prominent place in pop culture, many who haven't even seen the film will be familiar with its mind-boggling ending. Throughout the film, Malcolm and his wife had felt peculiarly estranged. But it's not until Malcolm realises he is not wearing his wedding ring that the pieces finally click together. You see, for Malcolm Crow, he died in a home invasion at the beginning of the movie. As such, he is one of Cole's dead people, unable to move on due to a sense of unfinished business. The Sixth Sense's conclusion is an oddity amongst more traditional horror films, in the sense that it doesn't leave audiences weeping in a puddle on the floor. Instead, it's a heartbreaking yet simultaneously uplifting sequence, one that allows for a beautiful moment of closure from Malcolm Crow and his wife as he accepts his death and finally moves on. Number 1. Hereditary Ari Aster's acclaimed 2018 horror follows the Graham family, who find themselves tormented by the demon Paimon in the aftermath of their grandmother's death. The unforgettably macabre finale begins with eldest child Peter returning home to find his father's charred corpse. Always a good start. From there, Peter catches sight of a naked occult member in a doorway before he's chased into the attic by his possessed mother, Annie. The sight of Annie endlessly banging her head on the attic trap door or frenziedly trying to decapitate herself with a piece of piano wire is unashamedly harrowing stuff. And Peter clearly agreed, for he leapt out of a window to his death. 
only to be swiftly resurrected by Paimon. Now in the demon's thrall, Peter makes his way to his sister's treehouse, surrounded by worshipping cult members and grotesque mannequins comprised of his dead relative's severed heads. The teenager then is hailed as King Paimon in spine-tingling fashion. So that's our 10 horror movies where the last scene is the best. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn those notification bells on and come and give us a follow on Twitter at WhatCultureHorror. While you're there, you can find myself at Cultured Left Peg, but most importantly, be sure to have the best possible day. Whether you're doing something or whether you're doing absolutely nothing, I hope it goes well for you. And if things aren't going so well, I really do hope things turn around as soon as possible. I've been Andrew Paul from What Culture Horror, and I'll catch you down the road.